What's up, Sagittarius? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. So guys, let's jump right into things. So this is going to be your September reading. So let's see what's been going on so far in September. I hope summer was kind to you guys. But let's see what's up here. I want to make sure this deck is very shuffled because a lot of people say, let's say you don't shuffle enough. Here's proof. Um, so guys, I have been saying to everybody that I no longer take personal readings anymore, but I do offer questions. So if you guys ever need like a quick question answered, um, I have a website. Everything's in the link in the description and you can always check it out and I'm here to help. But yeah, I'm basically in catch-up mode. I'm going to be pretty excited when my schedule is able to clear up. Um, just in regards to personal readings, it's been a fun run for sure. All right, guys. So this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Sagittarian signs. I'm not sure if I said that already. But just know, guys, that the energy here could be transferable. So it could be something you're going through. It could be something that's happening to another person around you. So let's see what shows up here. All right. So we have your past. present and future okay guys so the energy that we have here beautiful guys the temperance card so this is your card when this pops up this is saying that you're in a place where your soul is really really at ease with something you have the page of swords behind that and you have the wheel of fortune behind that so there's something where there's just a lot of truth to a situation and ended up you know having things turn for the better so i just see something very very positive here where there's a lot of enlightenment maybe you're sad or upset about something you have to cut off or maybe someone had to cut you off in a way but i see your soul really just being at ease with this so let's see what's going on guys let's start with your past and see how the story flows now the first card you guys have is the eight of wands in the reverse so that talks about something from the past that is attempting to come back into your life or you trying to go back to something from the past all right, we have the devil card in the reverse. Let me pull one more. And you have the two of pentacles in the reverse. So somebody was trying to, I feel like someone was trying to possibly go back to a situation that they feel would bring them balance and they feel would bring them away from something that was toxic. Now, there is a situation where someone was being very selfish, I feel, and it's like somebody was realizing that there was a heavy mistake being made. With the uh, with the King of Swords here in the reverse or the Father of Swords in this deck, this is someone who can be very, very narcissistic, very selfish, just, you know, only worried about how they get something done and how they benefit from it. Um, you have the King of Wands in the reverse, which could be someone who's just overbearing um, or someone who's kind of like a player, someone who's promiscuous. So I see a situation that you guys may be dropping moving away from and uh, kind of like a fierce protection against this or maybe someone's fiercely protecting themselves against you okay whatever the situation was now the next card that you guys have for the past is the four of pentacles in the reverse so this could be someone being tight with money or maybe just guarding their money saving their money or just an overall restriction or reservation rather that's a better word reservation that you'll have towards something so let's see why this is here all right, so we have the Six of Cups here. Let's pull one more card. And you have the Seven of Swords. So there's something that a person is just guarded against because there's a lot of secrets here. And I feel like a lot of this, you know, has to do with the past. I'm sorry about that, guys. So I feel like a lot of this just has to do with the situation that you guys may be looking at from your past something that maybe you were unhappy about. I feel like someone had to accept the fact that something needed to end. Okay, maybe you guys were the ones on, you know, that painful end of things or, you know, maybe you were happy to let this go. But there is definitely a sense of having a very difficult time moving away from something. Okay, so that last card that you guys have for the past is the six of swords in the reverse. So let's see why this is here. All right, so we have the five of swords. And the hermit card in the reverse. So it's like someone, they're giving themselves that push. They know they have to get out of a place where they've kind of been stuck and then just, you know, in their head and just wrapped up in a situation that was just very conflicting. So it's like, you know, you have to go. It's difficult to get away from whatever this is, whether you don't want to let it go or maybe you want to let it go, but it's just kind of like staying around. But 
with you guys taking the path where either you reject something or maybe someone rejects you or there's some sort of loss that's felt here that's what helps you to gain control and move forward with things um, in a very positive and most likely a quicker way than what you assume things may have moved in um, with the chariot also this could have been something that had to do with traveling it could have been something that had to do with some kind of move whether you were like moving homes or you were uh, moving where you physically work things like that so guys the first card for your present moment, we have the Page of Swords in the reverse. All right, so with this card, this is when there's going to be harsh, a harsh sense of communication between you and someone. Or maybe something that a person was trying to come, you know, something a person was trying to get across that just wasn't working out. This could also be when a person stops talking to, um, you know, they stop talking to another person or they stop engaging in something. We have the Ace of Wands. All right, let's see what cards fell here. Okay, so you guys have the Page of Swords in the reverse, the Ace of Wands in the World card. So this is very clear. There is some sort of new, well, regardless of what side you guys are with this, you know, because I feel like maybe there could be someone who gets the short end of the situation. But when the World card pops up, regardless of how you guys may feel as this is happening right now it shows that it's going to lead to something very very good so there's a situation when there i feel like there's a lot of conflict maybe there's arguing um something that's just not going to work out um and there's this new beginning that's like available something that you're going to be very passionate about something that brings a great new chapter into your life but it causes some sort of trouble it causes some sort of you know stir up here all right now the next card that you guys have and this is the center of your reading okay we have the queen of pentacles so this could be a taurus virgo or capricorn okay the reason why i say this is the center of your reading is because i feel like this is going to be a central energy to everything that's happening so with this queen of pentacles energy again taurus virgo or capricorn that you guys could be dealing with that's very significant for you but this is also going to be someone that's very stable very reliable um you know any sign can take on the characteristics of any of these you know different cards here but let's see why this queen of pentacles is here you have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And you have the Ace of Swords. Look, so there's a situation where there's just a lot of shit that needed to be cut out. With the Star card in the verse, there's something that you lost faith in. So for some of you, you're just straight up having a new beginning towards, again, it could be that Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person or someone who has those characteristics. Or this could be something that you're building financially. And if it's something financial, then I see you guys being very well off. The Queen of Pentacles is the most secure, you know, woman out of all the other, you know, queens. So, yeah, this could definitely be something solid. So the last card that you guys have is death. All right. There's definitely a huge change coming in. Um, it's funny because the daily energy I did today is the 10th, I believe, September 11th. Okay. So very historic day. Uh, for any of those who are affected by this, you know, my deepest condolences. So moving forward, guys, um, the daily energy that I had today on my Instagram was High Vibrations Tarot. It spoke about the fact that there was just a strong shift in the air right now. And there's just a very profound sense of stillness and knowing what you want in this next chapter and knowing what needs to be done, even if it may hurt to take the path that you know you have to take. So it's just really a moment of clarity, of change, of you know shedding a skin and growing a new one. So death means change. Let's see what's changing here. We have the two of wands and we have the hanged man in the reverse. So there's a path that you're going towards that I feel you guys are going to be very, very passionate about. A lot of new things, you know, are available to you here, whether it's a passionate offer, whether it's a, a job offer for a new job. So there's definitely a sense of balance. And, you know, that high priestess is coming out. You have the king of wands. I mean, the knight of wands here, which is you guys. So there's just this deep sense of knowing. With this high priestess, this is someone who knows exactly what's going on. Their soul is able to pick up on everything, even if they don't verbally say it. So... It's like you guys are moving towards something that you're going to be very passionate about. Now, I do want to pull one more card because with the hangman in the reverse, for some, you know, in some cases, this could be when someone's in a place of limbo. OK, and they're they're moving out of that place of limbo. So it's like they're moving out of that limbo or this could actually be when we're kind of forcing a situation. It's like we're bending over backwards for something that just makes no sense for us. too. So I just want to see what this card means for you guys. We have the seven of cups in the reverse. 
So you're moving away from something that felt forced. Okay, so this goes perfectly with the daily energy I posted today. So that's that's awesome to just be seeing that. But yeah, there's something that you were working on where maybe somebody wasn't making a valid offer. Something just wasn't, you know, maybe someone wasn't being truthful about a situation. But you guys are falling out of something. I'll let that pass. Welcome to downtown St. Pete, what's that? Okay, all right, guys. So the first card that you have for your future, you have the Nine of Cups. So with the Nine of Cups, this is a card about happiness. This is a card about really just being in a good place. We have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So for some of you, that, that could straight up be a relationship. You have the Three of Pentacles. There's something that you're building on. There's something from the past that I feel is recovered for some of you or just a relationship or something new that you get into. So with whatever it was that you guys, you know, are turning your back on, that's something that's actually putting you in a place where you can really expand and you can really, really be happy. Okay. And it's like, you're realizing these are your last two cards. We'll talk about, um, you know, we'll talk about them individually, but just with these two cards together with the Hierophant and the Reverse and the Sun card, this is being fully aware of what's not working you know light is shining on every situation and you can see clearly you know the things that you have to drop and the things that aren't meant for you all right so let's see why this higher font is in the reverse all right so we have the king of cups let's get one more card here and we have the knight of pentacles for some of you this could have to do with a pisces cancer scorpio um and or a taurus virgo or capricorn but there's a situation here where maybe it can involve a group of people, something like that. But there's something that's just not working out here. There's something where maybe it could be a group of people, a group of friends, maybe a third party situation in love, something like that. Um, but I feel like there's more than one person involved in this. OK, and there's something that's ending in regards to this. There's some sort of rejection that comes in. But again, that's when you really just take control of your life and take control of, you know, this whole situation. So lastly, we have the sun card here. Okay, so let's see why this is here. We have the Ten of Wands in the reverse. A heavy burden is released, guys. You're going towards something that's so solid. The Two of Swords in the reverse. This is when you make a very um, a very solid decision. It's like, no, this is my decision. I'm not going to waver in it. Like, this is what it is. So it's like you guys make that very solid decision, and you release a huge heavy weight. And in this case, it might be to let a lover go. It might be to let a friend go. It might be to let a job go. But either you're letting this go because someone just wasn't being honest in the situation, maybe towards somebody else they weren't being honest or maybe someone just wasn't being honest to themselves maybe you're taking a step back from something and saying you know what am i doing at this point this isn't who i am it makes no sense for me to you know still be involved in this so there is going to be a strong sense of healing there is going to be a good sense of balance that you guys have here but there's definitely something that you're moving away from okay so let's pull you guys some cards of advice let's see what comes up for you I'll go one step further. I've never used this for YouTube, but I have some fortune telling decks. They're pretty cool. They don't work like tarot cards um, if you guys have never tried them out before. But it's like they kind of think of it as like the condiments to like a sandwich. So it just gives it that pop. It gives it that flavor and it it can make a reading just much more direct. Um, I remember the first time I used it. It was actually um, a fellow Taurus that got it for me in one of my meet and greets. Um, so I had used the cards and... I had done it on a family member and I was able to tell her so many specific things that I wasn't able to pick up on, um, you know, with just tarot decks. In a situation where, you know, the tarot decks told me there's someone that she couldn't trust, these cards were able to tell me that it was someone who was younger than her, it was a man, um, that it was going to be a situation with money where they would want, you know, a certain amount and not to do it, that she'd be screwed over. And so she kept it in mind and I'm like, damn, I don't know if it's right because it's, it's a very specific thing to say to someone. But nonetheless, you know, about a week or two later, I got a call confirming, you know, that it was a situation just like that. So I was like, damn. I just saved you from a lot of trouble. So I'll pull some um, from one of the decks. I'll pull some cards and we'll just see what pops up there. All right, some advice for Sagittarius here. We have the Queen of Swords, Knight of Wands in the reverse. 
on the full card. It's time for a new beginning, guys. Um, there's something that needs to be cut off where if, if there's promiscuity in a situation, I see that having to be cut off. Um, if there's something that's bringing you out of your sorts where you're just, you know, exhibiting or just showing, you know, um, bad characteristics or, or just acting kind of like in a low way, anything that brings you to that has to go. All right. And this is going to be something that I feel might be difficult because it's something that's closely tied to you right now that's currently still in your life and something that may make you very angry and upset or something that may make another person upset. There could definitely be heartbreak or disappointment here. But yeah, there's a new chapter coming in. Now we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Four of Cups, the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So you have to stand your ground. Your soul is uncomfortable with something. You have a new beginning coming in. You just have to reserve yourself from whatever it is you're dealing with here. Um, but yeah, something's being cut off. Something is, you know, just, you really just have to protect yourself from it. With the Queen of Swords here, yes, this could have something to do with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But in this case, I really just feel that this is the attitude that you guys are going to take. Where it's like, no, I really just need to be strong against this and not get myself into this. So whether it's cheating or whether it's, you know, someone, you know, it, the Knight of Wands in the verse doesn't always have to be cheating. Um, a good example that I always use is... You know, this is a person who's the life of the party. They'll just like come to your house and be like, oh my God, we should throw a huge banger tonight. I'll help you set it up. I'll help you clean up. Like I got you, we'll be, you know, we'll be good. And then they have a blast, they get drunk and then they kind of just sneak out the back door and like go to some random person's house and you never see them again. So it could be that sort of person that like, whether they are doing it maliciously or they mean well and they're kind of just like all over the place it could be something like that as well so it doesn't always have to be cheating okay i don't want to <laughs> i feel like in every reading it's like oh you could be cheating so no i don't want everyone to think that that's what it could always go to but yeah there's just something that is too reckless here all right there's something that's bringing you you know again to a lower place or is bringing someone around you to a lower place now remember guys when you have the full card here Yes, it talks about new beginnings, but specifically unmarked territory for you. So this is going to be something new for you. So maybe it's a new hobby. Maybe it's a new person that you're dating. Maybe uh, it's a new job that you're taking on. But it's not going to be anything that you've done before. Maybe you've thought about it before, but this is your first time actually like getting into it. All right. So let's see. I'll, I'll pull some cards from two decks. I might have to look up what it means here because I don't use these often, but they're pretty cool. So we can learn together, guys. Um, this first one is called... For the Seekers Caravan of Seers, just in case you guys are interested in that. And then the next one I'm going to use is Mystical Kipper. Okay. All right. So let's see. Wow. Okay, guys. energy hardship okay this is not going to be the easiest thing to get through but it's something that you will get through disloyalty of some sort some sort of separation that's happening a recuperation that will happen though um you know if there is any sort of illness anything like that or just anything that makes your heart feel ill makes you upset anything like that there's recuperation that comes from that and honestly it's it's it, honestly this is very beautiful uh a beautiful progression. I feel like I can't talk today, but it goes from disloyalty, separation, illness, recuperation to wishes. Okay. And it's wishes on both ends, which means something really good is coming in here. I wasn't even looking at these numbers either with two, you know, again, that could be something that's very close to you, like the two of cups, someone who's very important with the four, uh, think of like the four of wands, uh, stability the cards. Uh, how do I want to say this? things just just talk about stabilizing yourself in you know a, a certain arena in your life so stabilization is coming um you know you're dealing with something that was very close to you but with nine especially the nine of hearts this is or the nine of cups which would be um this would be the nine of cups i feel like i really can't talk today guys so thank you for still being with me but that's happiness guys that's happiness and just a sense of you guys have just having to stand your ground with the seven of clubs this would be the seven of wands in a tarot deck so that's standing your ground against any sort of adversity that's going to come in so these cards are pretty legit i'll pull you guys one more okay
These are so small. Let me shuffle them differently. Oh, the computer fell asleep on me. I'm still here. Okay. I'll pull three cards here. I might have to look some up, guys. So we have the good gentleman. We have theft. And we have the marriage card. All right, so I'm going to read up on both of them. Um, the energy here is the living room. This card I actually do remember. So with the living room, that could be something that's happening close to you. So it could be something um, that's happening at home or just a place that you find yourself often. Okay, so let's see what this is meaning. All right, so let's start with the good gentleman. This is number five. So the good gentleman, this is an important card. The man has influence. He's older and very mature for his age. He has your best interests at heart. It may represent a father, a brother, and if it's a brother, it would probably be an older one, a grandfather, an uncle, an acquaintance, a colleague, or a boss. He has a lot of power and strength, which is symbolized by the lion at his side. However, he does not abuse his power. He only becomes a fighting lion in order to help you if others attack you. The good gentleman represents the partner for male homosexuals while you use card number one, which is another card for yourself. Okay, so if this is um, a, gay, a gay relationship, then yeah, that could be one of the partners. So theft, 24, let's talk about that. All right, guys, so it says the main theme of this card is loss. Something goes astray, gets lost or even stolen. It also refers to robbers or energy, those who drain your energy and thrive while you are weakening. However, this card may also indicate that you are taking or plan to take something away from someone else. If your question is about a person, the connotations relating to this person are negative. This card also tells you that something cannot go on as it used to and explicitly warns you against thieves. Okay, so this is very solid message, guys. The last one is number uh, three, which is a marriage card. And it says, this card symbolizes all relationships, be they to a partner, friend, or family. If the card lies in front of a one person, one of the person cards, which it does, so let's talk about that. Um, number one and number two, it represents a good marriage or relationship. So no, you guys didn't get that person. Um, if it lies behind those cards, however, it indicates the separation of two lovers. Um, so yeah, in this case, it wouldn't be good if you guys got that card with um, the other ones that it was talking about here. I really feel like I can't think today. I'm gonna take a moment. I wasn't even gonna work today. I'm like, no, it was like, you have so much stuff to do. But basically what this is saying is, you know, this is a willingness to share a bond with someone, but it could also be showing that there's some sort of separation that's happening. So it could be in regards to someone who's close to you. So yeah, this is all very clear. All points to the same thing. Something is being let go of. Every single deck said the same story, guys. All right. So this is very solid, guys. Let me get my head together. I love you guys so much. And I will put all of my uh, social media information below. If you guys need to get a question, usually it takes about five business days. I was just playing catch up because I had a lot come in um, when I announced that I was stopping personal readings. So anybody that's waiting on anything, you know, just sit tight and wait for it. I'll get it out to everybody. But at this point, just playing catch up. All right, guys. I love you, Sagittarius.